Hello everyone, my name is Max. Today we talk about how to use the easy way to learn Mandarin. Uh, I introduce myself a little bit first. Uh, so yeah, my name is Max. So I taught in, uh, Chinese in China before. Uh, my student age around 16 years old to 20 years old. Uh, so I have some experience to how to teach the uh, students to learn Mandarin and also I um, have the experience to language change in Canada. So yeah, so I will use the Canadian way to speak English because I know every country the English will have some uh, sentences, uh, different, you know, different habits, right? So yeah, uh, so most of them will speak Mandarin and speak uh, Canadian English, <laughs> yeah, style English. Then yeah, and I hope everyone can find it's easy to learn Mandarin and easy to have the com conversation with the Chinese people in China. When you want to travel in China or maybe talk with the Chinese people in other countries or maybe you will uh, how is that? Just uh, uh, use for your working or for studying for many, many, many places. So yeah, so let's go, and we will talk later more about my background. Uh, yeah, my our purpose is to learn Mandarin and introduce Chinese history and the culture, and I will try to uh, every time to have this short story. Or just uh, small activities because uh, we can have fun for every class, right? Uh, hopefully, this uh, video will be helpful for everyone. So, yeah, of course, we need to learn how to greet. Him. So, that is the greeting in Chinese called Da Zhao Hu. So, usually uh, in, chi in Chinese, uh, Da Zhao Hu is a very common way. Just, I, I know many people know this is called Ni Hao. Everyone can say at least Ni Hao and say goodbye, Zai Jian. Yeah, that's so common. Everyone knows that. Almost. Uh, except you're really not interested in Chinese, of course. <laughs> yeah, so, but I think most of the people can at least say this, right? Just like they can say hello like that, you know, even the people cannot speak English, but they can say hello. Um, and, um, yeah, and I hope everyone before, uh, learn, uh, my video first. So you can know a little bit pinyin, pinyin just how to see that and you will know how to, um, how to read that. So, because Chinese character is not like English, English maybe sometimes you can guess, oh, what kind of the meaning about this word, because the spelling will be a bit similar, right? Some, some, some meaning of that spelling in English. But Chinese, no way, because once you don't know this kind of, and you don't know the pinyin very well, that is really hard, because you, they know you, but you don't know them, the characters, so, it's hard to guess the meaning, but of course, once you will learn about uh what kind of the candles and that, then the higher level, then you will miss sometimes you also can guess what kind of meaning of this word, yeah, but this we can talk later, and yeah, so here you can see that it's like the Hu da Zhao Hu. this one is no the accent because that is the uh habit in China. So usually just call Da Zhao Hu and the last this word is no meaning. But it's not every time no meaning, okay? Uh no sorry, it's not uh my fault. It's not no meaning, it's not no accent, right? So you need to depend on what situation, no accent. Okay. Uh we can talk about this later too. So that's ni hao ni hao with the pinyin here. Yeah. So you can remember that, I think no problem for everyone. But sometimes if you can see a whole group, you cannot just one by one to say hello, right? Then you can say Da Jia Hao Da Jia Hao Huo Jiu Shi or Ge Wei Hao Oh, it's called Da Jia Da Jia just means the whole group The Da is mean big Jia 
usually is called family, but here maybe just say the whole group of the people. So you say, oh, 大家好, and also say hello everyone. Just this more sim uh, similar the meaning of the English called 各位好, because 各 is one uh, the individual. So it's everyone, 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 right? It's the one person, one person, individual. And wait, just you know, counting like the one, two, three, four, the amount of the people. So it's all good way how just say everyone, everyone good. So hello everyone. So you can use 大家好 for 各位好, both ways of it. And sometimes here just say older generation people, just the people you really want to expect them. Uh, for example, like oh, the teacher, your teacher, like older than you many years, something like that. Then you can say, 您好, 您好. Just the notes, you need to use some notes or sounds. So you say, 您好. It's different than the 你好. 你好 just uh, a n i. 你好. 但是您好, just so you can see the notes, the pronunciation is different a little bit. So the people like teacher, uh, you, know, you know, for example, like someone's uh, uh, father and mother, then you saw them, you want to uh, use, uh, expect them, and use a very polite way, and you can say 您好. Yeah, it's both is okay, but of course, usually if only your friends, you don't need to say 您好, that's too formal, right? So, yeah, and that is like, oh, you just general rule to say to the people, but this one is with the people you know them very well. So, uh, at least you, for example, like your neighbors, or maybe your friends, so you don't need to that, uh, how to say that, um, formal, right? Because you already know them. Pretty well, then the people say, Oh, why do we say hello? That to me is really formal, right? It's not like uh, we are not a close relationship. So in China, just say, Ah, ni lai la. Just say, Oh, yeah, you're here. Uh, so just really common and really uh, casual. Yeah, really casual. Say, Oh, ni lai la. And sometimes um, I don't like to use this anymore, but in China, it's okay. Just you call, uh, just if you see someone, I say, ah, you, you eat mei. But you know, right now, if you see someone, just ask the people, say, oh, uh, did you, did you fool? <laughs> uh, are you fool? Are you feel fool? Some of that I feel very weird. So I will only say, oh, you are la. Oh, you are here. That's real better. Just don't ask the people, oh, are you fool? Because in China, all the time, just like. Talking about, oh, did you already have the supper? Oh, did you already have the lunch? Just they like to ask the people, did you already, um, have something in your belly? <laughs> like that. So that's a real interesting, the culture in China. Then, uh, yeah, and maybe the friends you long time no see, but you still know them, right? So you can say, oh, 好久不见. 好久不见. 好久不见 So they can use it together For example, like Oh, 你来了,好久不见 Just you can change your accents Once you uh, feel and you know Of course you can say 你来了,好久不见 That's just really peaceful But usually you will not say like this With your friends, right? So you're very happy You say, oh, 你来了,好久不见 just a little bit happy about that feeling, right? And of course, this will be the next one. Good morning. 早上好. 早上好. This is for like in a company working. So as uh, your coworker, you can you can say, oh, 早上好. And uh, 怎么样啊? How is it going? Something like that, blah blah blah. Then, but usually, 早上好 is the opening, right? Opening. Then, if after your lunch time, you return to the company, you can say, Oh, 下午好. 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 
yeah, that just、uh, after a lunch break, then you return the company. Usually, you can say that. Of course, you can say to many different kind of people. But I just, for example, like in come in the company, you use this with really often, right? And uh, uh, and like to show show just. Uh, look like you're a social person, right? Then I hope this is not used for your company because that's the evening. So usually, maybe for example, like your neighbors, you just went go for a walk. Then you can say, "Oh, 晚上好，晚上好。Uh, just I don't like the people when they teaching the Chinese. They will say really formal, just like a machine. They say, 晚上。Yeah, I like to have some feeling inside. I、uh, have my mood inside because you will not say that in a daily life, right? You will not say, "Ni lai lo, hao jiu bu jian, zhao shang hao, xia wu hao, wan shang hao." You will have your mood inside. So usually, you should say like, "Ah, ni lai la, hao jiu bu jian, zhao shang hao, xia wu hao, ai wan shang hao." Just you will have that mood, your emotional the. Doing in the sentence, so you should not say that really peaceful like that. So that's the the normal breathing. And today we try to have some game. It's war game. It's called riddle. So guess the word. So I will try to read the Chinese first. Then later I will give the English uh titles. Then you will know what it what does mean. So this is called 有面没有口，有脚没有手，虽有四只脚，自己不会走。Okay, so the first meaning is the the first line. The meaning is called they have the face but no mouth. They have the face and no mouth. 有面。有面就是 have 面 face 没有 don't have mouth. Of course, here because it's something we need get something, so we call it. It has face, but it doesn't have mouth. The second line we say it has feet. But it doesn't has hand. 有脚没有手，有脚脚就是 feet。没有 ，you know that. And、uh, hand 手 hand 这应该是指 hand， 因为在 because in English all the time we say hand together one pair, right? But in Chinese, it's hard to tell they have one or they have two. You only need to guess the meaning from the whole sentence, like that. And the number three link is called 虽有四只脚 ，e one e has four feet, four or feet. 自己不会走 ，but e Cannot walk by itself. The meaning is wrong like that <laughs> because I cannot translate very well if once I seeing the words. So yeah, so hmm, something that has face but no mouth, something have the feet but no hand, and they have four. It have four hands. Ah,、uh, four feet. Sorry, four feet. But it cannot walk. So what kind of thing? So we can see from English title, it has a face but no mouth. It has feet but no hand. For it has four feet. It can't walk by itself. So here have the teeth and the feet. This is a type of the household object. Can you guess what this? I think mean, every other house they need this. Even right now, if you just watching the. Uh, your laptop, your computer, or your have a dining room, you will have this. So this is the table, 桌子
桌子. Yes, here is another example. Usually, those people, uh, when the the foreign speakers speak Chinese, they will say 桌子, but in fact, 桌子, just the 子 will be a little bit quiet. So that's a habit in Mandarin. So they will say 桌子. Yeah. So yeah, the answer 回答就是 table. Yeah. So that's today. That's all. And I hope everyone can find this really helpful. And uh, if you like my uh, video, uh, please uh, uh, just like and subscribe my channel. And if you like that, I will be uh, make more Mandarin study class here. Uh, and thanks for watching my video. Okay, bye bye.